I think, God, you know, I by myself with my two kids. What's going on? We were not expecting that kind of bad news. We knew something was wrong, but not at that level. It's something that I don't wish to nobody. It happened to be December 29th that I had this kidney failure. I don't know how I can handle this. I'm single mom, I'm by myself, I'm working full-time job, I have two kids. The younger is only 14, they don't drive in. I don't have any more family, only my brother and sister-in-law, they have family. What's supposed to be do now? A crisis can hit any of us at any time, but when it comes to a single mom, the after effects can be almost devastating. But when she started feeling the pressure of her son's kidney failure, it started compounding and now it becomes also pressure on the financial side of things. Majeline was the only one working in her home and now she's missing days, even weeks of work. So the question is, who's gonna pay the bills? My mom, she was, you know, sad, man. How am I gonna pay the bills of the house? How am I gonna pay the, you know, the insurance? How, you know, all the bills that you have to pay. And I was like, mom, I don't know, but you know, if you keep praying, you know, you could just do it, you know. Something's gonna happen. We found this uh, disease in him. The name is Alport disease. Immediately, we all started praying and helping her any way we can. I called his doctor and she told me, I'm sorry, Miss Torres, but you son, his kidney, they don't work 100%. She told me, I'm sorry, ma'am, but right now you need to take your son and go to uh, San Luis Children's Hospital. He looked like really anemic. He's really light. He don't make him blood. Doctor, when they asked to Nate. You got pain in your chest, and that, and that was like a sign for heart attack. I could have had a heart attack in that moment. But something had told me that I have to be strong, you know. They continue with, you know, taking blood tests. And uh, at that time, we start giving to him dialysis. Um, I know right now she cut working hours to take care of her sons, coming home from work, getting dinner ready, trying to get everything on, on time, medications, and the whole process of dialysis is it's a long process. Right now his weight is uh, 124.6, and I need, see, 124.6. Sometimes we just don't realize how much a single parent has to go through. But seeing her daily with all this going on, a single mom taking care of her kids. And I try to make my little money to, you know, to put food in the house, put the food in the table, you know, try to help my mom. And, but she's a really hard worker. Trying to make it happen every week, it is a, it's a big lesson. She's been working hard. She was trying to, you know, provide us with, with clothes, with food. My mom just helped me on everything. This machine, start fail, dwell for two hours, and after that is drain. I have to spend 12 hours every day uh, in the dialysis. And all his toxins go to the drain bag. I learned that and I do it because he's my son. And I do it because I love him. Right now his blood pressure is uh, 133 over 77. I wanna be strong. I wanna be, uh, you know, build, uh, use my faith in that moment. And, uh, and I told the same to Nathaniel, Nate, we need to pray, you know, God is with us and don't worry about it. Next thing I know, I, I got people that don't even know her, but they will come to me and say, hey, you know what? I don't know your sister-in-law, but I wanted, God spoke to me and I want to be a blessing to her. I know she's a single mom. I know she probably used all her vacation time and I want to be able to be part of this in, in her life. This uh, pastor, he worked in, in the same place when I work and he called me. He said, Majaline, 
what's going on, what happened, how you feeling, and you need something, you know. Um, and I explained to him what's going on in, the, in my situation, and I remember the last question I have in my mind is, oh, Pastor, I don't know, the only thing right now I'm thinking about my, my bills because it's already January and I need to pay my, my rent and I don't have any money for that, you know. And he say, you know what, Magdalene? Don't worry about it. Live right now this day. Tomorrow is tomorrow. And I mean, it was one person, another one, and another one. I mean, even $5, $10, it doesn't matter. God provided. God, He start provide me, you know, transportation. God start provide me. They use Magellan keep this for gas. People from Puerto Rico and uh, other states and churches and friends, they were all praying for me. I received this letter from a friend and he sent me half for my rent for next month. And that is great. God provided for her needs. It was, that's, that's what it was amazing. Next day and next day, from my family, from my co-workers, my, my work, they donate me hours, 40 hours. You don't have to worry. You just gotta trust in God. You just gotta be positive. That's what God helped me with. He gave me strength. God, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And that moment, I'm going to start trust. Trusting more about God. Thank you, God. You know, you know my situation and you here. you right here with me, with my son. And I'm really say thank you. Because God, He used them. I have talked to Nate, and I can see a positive attitude, and only God can provide that. And my nephew, his attitude is, is being great, actually. He haven't even asked why me, why this is happening to me. My, my sister, she's saying, well, I trust God. You know, this is going to pull through. We're just waiting. It's going to heal him. He has learned so much through this situation how to rely on God and trust Him, no matter how the situation, how bad it looks. I'm really proud about my kids, about Nathaniel. When he's been quiet, he's praying. When he takes his food for eat, he's praying. And I can, I can see God is in this situation. You know, one day I'll get a kidney transplant, so that's gonna be a better way to live. This is his life now. We don't finish yet. We start with something, and we need to continue and still with this. I mean, bills are gonna keep coming, but God has provided to this point, and I know He's faithful. God is with me. God is with us. I'm not by myself. And this time, I want to tell you, God is true. God is real. And He can help you.